Hey, 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 back at it again. Been wanting to do this video for a long time. This is touching on a topic that gets a lot of attention, especially from people who want to mod out their boats or if you're building out other people's boats is, does aluminum weigh less than wood? And I'm gonna do this test finally. I've got two four by eight pieces and I'm going with four by eight. I could have cut smaller pieces to do the test on, but I figured kill two birds with one stone one. I will be able to just do the weight test to show you guys which one weighs less. And two, I wanna give a realistic approach to how much weight you're adding to the boat. Reasonably, you can add an entire sheet of wood or aluminum to your boat if you're redoing it or building out your deck or, or doing whatever kind of conversion that you're working on. So I'm gonna answer both those questions today in this video. So I've got my scale down there. This is a glass scale, so I put a little piece of cardboard on it. It's not registering any weight, but that cardboard is there just to make sure I don't break my wife's scale. And what I will do is start with the wood, get it up on the scale, and then switch over to the aluminum. This is 0.090, so let's talk about that really quick. Half inch wood compared to 090 aluminum sheeting. Half inch is a very good thickness to go with because it's lightweight and will give you enough strength for most applications on your boat. So that's the width size we use for pretty much all our boat bills, which is the reason why I'm using 090 aluminum because that is what we typically use as well. 090 right now is the best option for giving you strength on your decking and also keeping it lightweight. I'm trying to balance out the test here. Of course, you can always go thinner on the aluminum and of course it'll be lighter. And I guess you could do the same with wood as well. Instead of half inch, go with quarter inch, but this test is between 090, which gives you a lot of strength for decking, but still maintains a lightweight situation and half inch plywood. Moment of truth, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this test. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. I get a lot of questions when folks are asking me to do their bows, which way should they go? Should they go with aluminum? Should they go with wood? They wanna keep it light, so I'm gonna go with aluminum. So let's answer that question right now. Is aluminum, in fact, lighter than wood, half inch wood, 09 aluminum, let's go. All right, to start off the test, I'm gonna go with the wood deck first, which would be half inch plywood. Just gonna take my time and get it on a scale. Try not to break my wife's scale. That's about midway, I think. Let's see what she weighs. All I'm doing is supporting the weight of the wood with my hand. I'm already seeing it say 46 pounds. I'm gonna take a second weight. Let me come off the scale, shift my cardboard over. I'm gonna rest it right in the middle. I'm just gonna rest it back on my hands. 45.4 pounds. I'm just gonna get my GoPro. Show you guys as best as I can the weight, 45.4. All right. All right, now for the moment of truth. Does .090 aluminum sheet weigh less than half inch plywood? Four by eight piece. And I can tell you by the weight of this aluminum, take my gloves off, slipping out my hands. By the weight of this aluminum, I don't know, it's feeling kind of heavy. Let's get this on here. Oh, wow. 42.2. Let me show it to you guys down there. 42 pounds. Hopefully you can see that on the GoPro. 42 pounds. We'll do another one for good measure. Right center. Yep, exactly, 42.2. So there you have it about a two and a half pound difference. I'll put the exact difference on the screen right now for you guys. But man, 
Pound for pound, I'm gonna say, just from this test, using the thickness of wood, half inch, and the own I know, sheet aluminum, that the aluminum is lighter. Second thing we learned in this test is that either way you go, you're adding a good 40 pounds of weight to your boat. If you go with a full decking situation, that's part of your project, and you use an entire sheet of wood or aluminum, you're gonna add at least 40 pounds, 42-ish plus, 42 to 44 pounds of weight to your boat. Might sound like a lot, but it is what it is to get what you want. Downside is aluminum costs a lot more than a sheet of wood. I think that sheet of plywood right there, four by eight piece at Lowe's where I live was 23 bucks. And that sheet of aluminum at a metal shop, I believe I got it for over a hundred bucks, hundred and maybe even 200 bucks. So big price difference. It's all up to you which way you want to go and what's most important to you. So there it is guys, wanna do something quick and dirty, get a quick video, informational video out there. Hope this helps some people out there trying to decide what they wanna do. This does not last forever. This lasts a very long time. So in essence, you, you get what you pay for. If weight is your biggest factor, then I mean, you can go either way. They pretty much weigh the same thing. But if money is not a factor, go with the aluminum. It will last you longer. If money is a factor, you know, hey, you could get five to 10 years out of a really good treated wood. And I don't mean pressure treated. I'm talking sealing it yourself, whether you're using an oil-based sealant, fiberglass resin, you can get your wood deck to last a pretty long time as well. But in the end, this is gonna last you much longer. You change that out every five to 10 years, uh, you could end up changing your deck maybe three times in the time that you keep your boat. Or if you have a lifetime boat, you might change that deck five times by the time you get rid of it. You might end up paying the aluminum price in the long run. Anyway, guys, I hope you got something out of this. I'm super excited about this. This is information that I get to even log in my head as I'm talking to people about these boat bills and I can give you the honest to God truth when it comes to weight. If you enjoyed this video and got some good information and like the content, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment and leave a thumbs up down below. Stay tuned to more content on the channel. We got more boat build content, fishing content and more just informational things like that. Stay tuned to the channel guys. We'll see you on the next one.